All right, this is technique two about how to trace. All right, um, so you wanna pull your photo up on your Chromebook or laptop or whatever device that you have. You want a dull pencil. Do not use a pencil that you freshly sharpened with a nice pokey-like bit. Dull pencil. I'm gonna say this one more time. Dull pencil, All right? And you can also decide um, if you wanna make this like a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So there's more of the face. Um, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe just one place in between. All right, so I'm gonna go with that because I really wanna focus on the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my piece of paper on top of the face, right? Notice I've also darkened the room. If the room has too much light, this is not going to work, all right? And so once again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my very dull pencil, use very light pressure. Do not break your Chromebook, all right? So what you can do is you can, if I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna trace all of my like highlights. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna trace all of my highlights. Um, and when you're using this piece of paper over the acetate, you get more of a diffused look. So notice how lightly I'm pressing, right? Very, very light. Um, and so I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna trace all of my lights I'm going to trace all of my darks. And so this technique, you have to have a very light touch. Do not, under any circumstances, break your Chromebook. Okay? So really, really light, right? And then after you do your highlights, I'm talking about like pencil lightness, then go back in and do your lights, right? And you're going to have to decide what's a light, what's a midtone. And part of that decision making is part of what makes this work, right? And it's about telling your brain like, oh, is that a highlight? Is that a light? It's helping your brain to see values and to break them up. So it just help, it helps your brain. It also helps you to like see distinctions and become much more observationally strong. I think I may have made up observationally as a word, just in case you are curious. So don't tell your English teachers, all right? So we're going to go through and you're going to do all of your light, your highlights, your lights, your midtones, your darks, and your darkest dark.